is it then? 3rd of August? I think so. Another potato reveal? Yep. They're all sort of dying over now, aren't they? They're going over quickly. Yeah. We did uh, Ulster Prince, was it yesterday? Yeah. No, the day before. First, day before. And before that we did um, Pentland Javelin. Yeah. So these are other first earlies. These are... Casablanca. That's the one. So these are our usual first earlies, aren't they, that we've grown yeah. for a few years that have done... The other two well. were just trial, the, trial potatoes, well, trial varieties that we haven't yeah, The other thing before. we've found out from these is, over the years, is that they'll keep quite well. Mm. They're almost main crop as well, aren't they? Yeah, right. I shall see what's under there. <laughs> After the nice surprise of the last lot, you wonder, don't you? Yeah. It's always a wild guess to where to put a fork in to miss any roots. Because if you are going to spare one, it will usually be a prize specimen. Yeah, it? it's never a rubbish one. Oh, they've got big as well. I suppose we've left them in longer than you tend to leave early ones in, haven't we? Yeah. Normally you pick them before they stop growing, don't you? Normally, but them. yeah. But what with the weather and everything? Well, we had a few in tubs as well, didn't we? That yeah, we did. They don't look damaged, do no, they? No, fine, aren't they? damage. They usually grow quite near the surface, don't they, potatoes? I think it might depend how deep you plant them, I don't know. Does that mean we don't plant them deep enough? <laughs> well, we just put them in with a trowel rather than going to the trouble of a trench, don't we? But, but as you can see, it's not a detriment to what we get, is it? No. Why, why bother digging a, a trench? It's a lot easier. Let's back to it again. Yep. Yeah. And I think quite a few professional gardeners do it that way nowadays. Oh, Susan. Yeah. Can't say that. Why? Might not. Right, I think I'll move on to this next route now. Let's collect a few bits of weeds up. Did you notice how I got Susan there? <laughs> <laughs> I think these will come out. I think the top's alert. <laughs> when what? I mean, I'm not naughty. <laughs> well, Monty Don did. Did they? Yeah, sure he did. Well, if people are actually planting them in raised beds, they can't really dig. <laughs> dig. Can they? Not easily. No. Is this route number two? It is. Have you noticed any of them? No, not quite. It's dry now. Yeah, it is dry, isn't it? Yeah. To say that 
in your mind you think it's been wet and horrible all summer and yet it's all been drizzly rain hasn't it yeah not good rain there's a tiny one there look. so we're going to try some from this other end right so we're going to move on and try international kidney yes. second early yeah. but we did think they were first early at one time didn't we these are the ones that are actually uh, grown as uh, Jersey Royals, aren't they? They are, yeah. But because we're in, not in Jersey, we can't call them Jersey Royals. So, international kidney. Yep. We have grown these once before, ages ago. Hey, we, yeah, we have, yeah. Don't know why we stopped. Because we weren't impressed by the flavour. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Because we were expecting Jersey Royals and they didn't taste like Jersey Royals. But we decided to try them again. Okay. They don't look too bad, do they? No. Smaller? Smaller, yeah. Oh, doesn't seem to be any damage though. No. I suppose we'd assume that the soil was going to be damp and there'd be a lot of slug damage. Well, very often there seems to be a lot of slug damage, whether it's yeah. wet that, or not. We, had, we only watered them when we had that really... When we had really, two months really without rain and they'd just gone spell. in. They haven't been watered since, since that. We did wonder last year whether we should have bought them or didn't we? Yeah. The potatoes weren't very good last year, were they? But having said that, I did read somewhere that the heat prevented the tubers from swelling, didn't it? It did. Which we can't blame this year, can we? Well, we could, but wouldn't really be fair, would it? Try this one then. This room. It's always nice when you look at it there's something there. <laughs> Again. I've got a shadow in the way. And a couple left on that road. Very tiny ones. Down there? Yeah, I think so. Just try down here. It really is dry. Yeah, it is. Right. It's smaller than all that, what do you think? Yeah. Smaller potatoes as well. Nice size though. Size, yeah. yeah, nice size mm -hmm. to use. Yeah, even the little ones. Well, yeah, I mean, they don't need a wash, they won't yeah. need anything else. I think they'll be fine. So I'm going to suggest a cup of coffee now and then. A I'll come back and see how many more I can get dug up. So shall we come back? And yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back and film the turtle hall when we're finished. But you don't want to watch Martin digging the whole Loads of spuds. Bye for now. Bye bye. See you. So they're all up. Bed dug over. My conclusion, dry. I think some of them might have run out of a bit of a bit of steam because it was dry. 
think they might have just ceased a little bit early but I'm quite pleased with what we've got off because these are well virtually all usable potatoes I although they're early potatoes so mm. these are these are those international kidneys so these are second hours I think right um, but they're all usable size don't really expect enormous spuds I don't suppose but depend on the taste now won't it yeah the other thing that I think has probably affected these is if you have a look up there it's our elders and they do cast a lot of shade at the minute this bed isn't in shade but I'm guessing for a lot of the afternoon it is from the two elders it's not so bad early on before it leaves up is it no but, but sort of you main were going to lock season, it, I think, weren't you? probably slows them down so when you're going to cut them back a bit yeah I might do we only give them a slight trim this year because we wanted them yeah. to flower Maybe Which some of did. those tall bits out and leave yeah. some of the bottom bits. Yeah, I'll give it a decent trim, I think. And these are our Casablanca. Casablanca. Uh, the first two roots I dug up were as good as any that were in there, to be honest. And again, thinking that shade probably had something to do with it. The ones nearer the elders had smaller potatoes on them the ones further away I wonder if the elders steal some of the moisture I don't know, I think it's generally dry because the other beds have been mm. fairly dry so I'll have to weigh them up and I'll put what each one, what we've got for each one somewhere on the video at the end so it really needs a bit of damp, doesn't it, to uh, break this soil up a bit? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's been, we've had worse soil. Well. So we'll have to think of what we're going to do with it. Whether we're going to plant anything else or not. Yep, give that some thought. I think that's it then. Yeah. It's been a strange afternoon though, hasn't it? Some minutes it's been really warm and we've taken jumpers and things off. And then it's threatened rain and it's doing that again now. Yeah. At one time it was quite cool and then the sun came yeah. out and it was pretty warm. And I did, I think, detect one or two little spits and spots. Yeah, possibly. But that's our weather this year, isn't it? Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.